Having said that, let's move to the next board, which is the BGP attributes. We are trying to learn BGP attribute. And the first thing first, which we are going to learn here is the next hop attribute. Okay. We have been learning this next off from quite a long, right? When we were le learning the routing fundamentals, next off was there. When we were learning OSPF, next off was still there. And now we are in BGP and we have the next off. Because next off is something where you want to send your packet. Right? Because you have received the packet from the next stop, at least in the cases of in the case of interior gateway protocol. Your next stop is always the router which is advertising the route to you. And I am again repeating one thing, guys. If you are receiving a route, it means that you can send the traffic. If I showcase traffic from the yellow color, you can send the traffic. On the contrary, if you are sending the route, it means that you are receiving the traffic for that route. And this thing people forget. And that is why I'm again and again right, because this is important in understanding this and the several boards which are coming after this. Right? So when BGP came, this next stop actually changes, right? The behavior of the next stop changes. And we understood that behavior where basically the next stop is going to change and where it is not. Right? But I want to showcase you one more important thing. What is that thing? The topology is going to be very, very simple, guys. Here, the topology is where we are having the three autonomous system number 400, 500, and 100. And now what I'm doing is I'm advertising a route from this router which is r4 and the route i am advertising is this one although this is the ip address of the loopback interface which i have configured here but the network which is going to be advertised is the network number which is 4.4.4.0 slash 24 it is advertised right here into the r1 and now we are seeing what is happening in the r1 and specifically i want to see i want to see the rib in what is a ribbon guys you all know when a router receives a route in bgp from multiple peers it is going to install this route into the ribbon then what happens this router is uh, put the best path algorithm on all these routes and create a table which is local rib which contains all the best path and from the best path the local rib Everything goes to uh, your rib out, and rib out contains only those routes which you have chosen, which you have decided to send to your peers. So now I want to see the uh, what are the routes which are specifically in the ribbon table of R1, and for that I have mentioned this command here, which is show IP BGP. And by the way, guys, because the command output was slightly bigger and I was not interested in, into that. So that is why I have choose this keyword here. B means begin. So just show me the output of show IP BGP command, which is beginning from network. So network is the keyword here. So it started showcasing me here. And that is what I wanted to see. So you can use this keyword. I think you're all aware of it. If you're not, then it's very, very simple. But interestingly, if I see here, route 4.4.4, .4 the first thing we are going to notice is star and this greater than symbol. It means that this, is, this route is the best. This is the only route. It is going to be the best. The next hop is going to be 192.168.14.4, which it should be. Because this is this host and the router, R1 is learning it is from different autonomous system number. And if it is learning from different autonomous system number over the EBGP neighborship, the next stop is always going to be the address of the router, which, ad, which has advertised this route at the first place. We do not know about metric local preference weight. 
but we know about this path right the is number is going to be 400 we all know about it it shouldn't be a problem now we have ibgp pairing between r1 and r2 and that is why this route is going to be advertised from here r1 to r2 and let's see the ribbon table of r2 and of course sure enough we could see this route 4.4.4.0 but wait a minute we are only seeing a star here this time only a star there is no greater than sign and what is the meaning of it the meaning is this route is not the best route if it had been then we would have seen the greater than symbol here which i don't see although r2 has only one route towards 4.4.4.0 but bgp is saying it doesn't matter if i have only one route this route is not best it means that bgp has done some, done some calculations right bgp is again saying the next stop is 14.4 and of course on r2 the next stop is going to be 14.4 which is the ip address of this r4 and you know that we know that the bgp goal is to send the packet to next hop autonomous system number and that is why when it learns the route over ibgp the next stop is going to be the next autonomous system number router and not the router from which you are receiving this route over the ibgp it is as simple as that right now interestingly i want to know now that why bgp has not chosen this route as the best why bgp because we have only one route in routing, routing table of r2 and bgp is saying this is not the best route it hasn't put this greater than symbol after the star and that is what i want to debug so what i what i'm doing now is i am running another command which says show ip bgp again the rib ribbon right but now this time i want to know more about 4.4.4.0 that why bgp is not selecting this as a best path and here it is written no best path right this route was received from as400 which we know about this route was received from this next stop which is 192 168 14.4 and here you go this command output say it is inaccessible 14.4 <clears throat> is inaccessible it means that i forgot to advertise this interface into ospf r2 does not know how to reach to 14.1 i and i deliberately did that and the reason is because i wanted to explain you the concept of next stop and what is going to happen if next stop is not reachable guys if next stop is not reachable then this path is not the best path according to bgp and it should be right if you are not able to reach the next stop then eventually you cannot forward the packet to 4.4.4.0 and if you cannot forward the packet to 4.4.4.0 what is the point of installing this route into the route table and that is what bgp does we see this in ribbon and we all know that what routes are going from ribbon towards local rib in local rib only the best path will go but we understand bgp says it is not the best part though so this route 4.4.4.0 will not go into the local rib and definitely if it doesn't go into the local rib it is not going to be in your routing table so if you do a show ip route bgp in r2 it will not show you 4.4.4.0 route but yes ribbon will show because ribbon is getting all the neighbors route right but because this route is not the best it that is why it is not going to be showcased in your routing table or local rib it is as simple as that interesting right now just start thinking just start give it a, a thought here 
that R2 does not know how to reach to 4.4.4.0. Should it advertise this route to R5? Should or should it not? It definitely should not. Why? Because if R2 does not know how to get to a 4.4.4.0, how would R5 will be able to communicate to 4.4.4.0 because it has to go via R2. And that is why BGP is not going to advertise this route which is in ribbon. And the reason is that if I am not able to reach, uh, if I am not able to reach to next hop, then definitely Mr. R5, you are not going to reach via me. And that is why I'm not going to advertise this route. And that is where in R5, doesn't matter if you see ribbon or local rib or anything, this route is not going to be there. Which route? 4.4.4.0 slash 24 is not going to be there in any routing table of R5. Because R2 at the first place is not advertising it because it is not the best path. And you can see this using the command output of what routes R2 is advertising to R5, right? How we can see those routes? The route which I want to advertise to my peer are always in rib out. So let's check whether we have this route in rib out of R2 or not. If it is not there, then of course we are not advertising anything to R5. And that is what I have done here. Here, if you see right here, I have configured a command and I'm asking BGP, just show me all the routes. And I am advertising to neighbor 25.5, which is my router R5, which is this one. It is as simple as that. And I'm interested in what routes I am advertising it to it. And Sure enough, you can see total number of prefixes are zero. As simple as that. It means that R2's rib out says, I am not going to advertise 4.4.4.0, right? And that is why it is not there in the rib out. Simple, right? And by the way, guys, I have put one more output here, which is show IP BGP summary, which represent <clears throat> if I am on R2, it is going to give me the two routers from where I am peering with. One router, which is 13.1, which is your router R1. I am peering it, uh, peering in my own AS number, which is 100, and that is why this is IBGP. The other router I am peering with is 25.5, which is in AS number 500. It is as simple as that. Right? So BGP without doing anything first thing first whenever a route comes to bgp it will check whether its next hop is reachable or not okay if next stop is not reachable this route is not going to be advertised by bgp even this not route is not going into the routing table of a router where this route has been received it is as simple as that Right, guys? How to solve the problem? Just advertise this interface into the OSPF or just put here the next stop self. If you do not want to put this interface into the OSPF and if you know that OSPF is run, running here, OSPF is running here, just change the next stop. R1 is going to say now, if you change the next stop to R1 from R4, R1 will say to all the routes I'm advertising over this IBGP peering, I will be the next stop. And R1, this interface, maybe because you are running OSPF, it would be reachable from R2. And if that is the case, the BGP is going to install this route into the BGP table and it is going to send this route towards R52. So the first thing first, and, be, and maybe this is the number one step of BGP path selection. Basically, it is first Firstly, check whether a particular route which I am receiving can reach to the next stop or not. If it cannot reach to its next stop, I am not going to install this route. It is as simple as that. Guys, question. If you have any question on this board, please raise your hand. But I think 
it is really, really easy. 